morning. Welcome to Ordinary Days, where life with God is anything but ordinary. I'm Denise Larson Cooper. Yesterday, a storm blew into the area. The sky blackened. Winds whipped weak limbs from the trees. As the rain started falling from every direction, I raced through the house trying to get the windows closed. Unfortunately, shutting out the rains meant shutting out the cool breeze that accompanied the storm. Yet, through it all, the sun maintained its dominance. As the sun shone through the storm, a double rainbow arced the sky. One rainbow is breathtaking. Two rainbows are stunning. That colorful, comforting arc spanning the heavens reminds us that God is present. After the flood, God assured Noah with a rainbow. Genesis 9:13, God says, I have set my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. God swept his hand across the heavens, moved the darkness of the storm aside, and revealed his promise of salvation in a bow of color. Because the rainbow is a sign of God's covenant, it transcends earth and fills the heavens. Not only do we see this sign of God's promise, but he sees it as well. Look again at Genesis, this time in 9.16. God says, whenever the rainbow appears in the cloud, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and all living creatures of every kind on the earth. God's bow is in nature to assure us that the covenant is and always will be a binding agreement between the Father and the Son, Jesus Christ. It is confirmation that Christ has come into the world so that all life on earth could be saved. Let's pray. Dear God, when storms hit, remind us of your promise to save the world from sin through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.